question before going to the answer section. Activity 1, answers. Now for the answer section, you notice that I'm not going to be doing both methods. One method, but the answer should be the same. Question number 1, solve for B. B is equal to C minus A, simple. Number 2, in number 2, we had to go ahead in number 2 and manipulate for Y. I simply took the X, moved it over to the other side. At this stage over here, there's a negative. Because there's a negative, I multiplied both sides by a negative, which means the negative went over to the other side. Or obviously, the negative is being multiplied here, being divided there, which means the same thing. Y is equal to, I multiplied it out, and I got to minus Z plus X. Number three is simple enough to solve for X. Please ensure that you cross multiply. Just take it as being Z over 1 and cross multiply. Question number four, we have to solve for A. First step, take the, positive, the negative C across. It becomes positive C. Then you solve for A by dividing B on both sides. That should be a correct answer. Question number five, V is equal to U plus AT. The question was to solve for A. We had done this previously. You should have no hassles in getting this one correct. Sometimes you might find a question like this appearing in your examinations. Who knows? Question number six, BT minus X squared is equal to Y. Solve for T. Step number one, po negative X squared, move it over to the other side. It becomes positive X squared. I do not want the B. So I divide both sides by B, or simply take the B over to the other side of the equation. Multiplication becomes division. Number seven, straightforward. I don't think anyone should get this one incorrect. Question number eight, let's look at this one a bit more in detail. You're manipulating for B. Half B multiplied by H is equal to A. I swap them around. Step number one, I do not want to see the H. If I do not want to see the H, the H goes over to the other side and becomes divided by H. Or, alternatively, I divided both sides by H. Next step, guys, I do not want to see the half. According to my rule, a fraction moving over to the other side, I multiply by, or I invert the fraction. This becomes 2 over 1. And if I had here 2 over 1, I multiply it out, and I've got 2A divided by H. Or alternatively, guys, multiply the left-hand side by 2, which means you multiply the right-hand side by 2. Number 9, solve for A. Step number 1, guys. You had to bring them in terms or get rid of the fraction by saying this is A over 1, cross-multiplying, and then going ahead and manipulating for A. At this stage, pi times b, you divide the left-hand side by pi b, you divide the right-hand side by pi b. Number 10, the circumference of a circle. In order to solve for r, is equal to c divided by 2 pi. Guys, how is it going so far? I hope you are getting these things correct. t is equal to a plus 5id, simplify for d. In order to simplify, guys, Step number one, I will say a plus 5d is equal to t. I remove the a, and that's where I got the t minus a. And then divide by 5, and the 5, or divide by 5. Number 12, in number 12, step number one, cross multiply. I do not want to see the 15. I divide both sides by 15, or take 15 over to the right-hand side. Number 13, ah, this is a nice one. Simplify or manipulate for n. First step, n over 2 into a plus l is equal to s. Swap them around. Now, guys, I do not want to see certain things. The first thing that I must get rid of is this a plus l. The a plus the l is multiplied into this. Multiplication, move it over to the other side, it becomes division. Or alternatively, divide the left-hand side by a plus l, which means you divide the right-hand side by a plus l. 
Once I come up to this step, I cross multiply. In, let me just show you that step there just to make it a bit easier. N into A plus L is equal to 2S. I divide the left hand side by A plus L, which means I divide the right hand side by A plus L, and I end up with that answer. Number 14. Guys, this you should not get wrong. All right. Number 15, manipulate for i a bit more. 1 plus i n is equal to a divided by p because I get rid of the p. Next step, guys, I get rid of the, the 1. Goes over to the other side, becomes minus 1. And the last step over here, I get rid of the n, or I divide both sides by n. Now, this may seem a bit long to say this is the manipulation of i. But guys, it is correct. All right, once you do the substitution, you would get the correct answer. And number 16, very, very similar to number 15, guys. The first few steps were exactly the same, but now I get rid of the i. How's that? Guys, you should be getting 16 out of 16. For those of you that did not get all correct, please go back ensure that you have mastered this before going any further. Oh, there is a number 17. My mistake. Let's go over to number 17. Number 17, manipulate for P. To manipulate for P, I simply go ahead and make this or take this over to the other side and it becomes division. Number 18, in order to solve for R, R squared is equal to A over Pi divided. Then I get rid of the square by square root in both sides. Now guys, don't forget about this, please. Right, you don't want to lose marks for nothing. Once we have completed off with that, surprise, surprise, there's another activity. Now you may have thought you have got away with it, but you have to do substitution into the formula. Activity 2. Solve for the required variable correctly to two decimal places. Now, guys, for this activity, even though it is not implicitly or explicitly mentioned, you must manipulate the formula first for the variable that I'm looking for and then do the substitution. There's more than five questions, so you can copy this down. If I look at question number one, you are required to make H the subject of the formula first and then do the substitution. Now, for each and every one, you have to do it that way. This is a good time to press pause, copy the questions, and we can go further from there. Press pause now. There's examples 6 to example number 10. Again, guys, press pause in order to copy number 6 to 10. And once you have copied it, we can go over to actually completing the activity and then going to the answer sections. Guys, press pause now. Do the entire activity. If need be, go to this particular area of the video and you can get the answers. Now for this, we do not waste time on the answers. I'm not going to spend too much time again. Activity 2, solutions. Number 1. Manipulate for H first, substitute, and you answer. You notice the answer is in millimeters because the question stipulated millimeters. Number two, C is equal to 2 pi R. You manipulate for R. Do the substitution, you get the answer 39,79. Pi, please use pi as it appears on your calculators. Number three, in question number three, a is equal to half B times H. Initially, I had to solve for H. Once I've manipulated for H, I do my substitution, and I should end up with the correct answer. Now, guys, at this step, remember the half. You multiply both sides by 2, and that's where this 2 comes in. Question number 4. Question number 4, by now, you know this. You have to cross-multiply. Once you cross multiply, this pi a goes over to the other side and becomes division. 
question number five a bit longer but we have done this entire manipulation from here to here in the previous activity right up to the step over here then we simply do the substitution and get the correct answer now please guys know how to use your calculator you do not want to get right to the step over here and get the final answer wrong question number six do not let all these X's confuse you each one is a separate variable you have to solve for x2 remember that number seven a very very nice example because I got a square root which falls away by squaring the other side number eight number eight is a very very good example guys when you come across topic number three and you're doing the area of a hexagon you'll find that you'll be using this formula I want you to solve or manipulate for L so what we had done over here guys let me just show you the second step here for those of you that did not get it I want to manipulate for L which means this whole portion here needs to go over to the other side now it works on the similar fashion as the half that moved over and became 2 over 1 now I will read this as 3 root 3 over 2 multiplied by L squared which is equal to A. Now I don't want this. So I'll simply say L squared is equal to the A is still on that side. I leave the A on that side. What happens to this? It's a fraction. When it goes over to the other side it becomes the other way around. So it's 2 over 3 root 3. And then I'll follow from there guys and get it from this step to that step to the final answer. Question number nine. This by the way will be the next section that we're going to be dealing with. I had to go over here and solve for A. The first step here was to get rid of this 2 by multiplying both sides by 2 and that's where this 2 comes on the left hand side. Once I go further I divide by N, I subtract the L, I do the substitution and I get to my answer. Number 10. Oof, number 10 looks like a very, very long solution. This long solution, guys, I had to manipulate for u. No, u. S is equal to ut plus half at squared. If I had to manipulate, the first step, if you're not following, there, is to say ut plus half at squared is equal to s. Now remember guys I'm manipulating for u. So the first thing that will go will be this portion here. Plus half a t squared. Now can you see I'm moving the entire thing. I'm not moving parts of it. It's added here. If it goes over to the other side I will have u t is equal to s. This whole thing goes over to the other side so it reads as s minus a half a t squared. And that's what I have over here. And then simply the next step is to get rid of this t, where I divide both sides by t, divide the side by t, divide that side by t. And you'll find your t's will cancel away, and that is what you are left with. You do not have to write this in any other way. You have already manipulated for you. And your final answer is 25. In the examinations, guys, this could come out for six, seven marks. You will get something easy to manipulate. Then you must get one where you have to substitute into the formula. With that, guys, we now are going to go to our last section on topic one. But please ensure that you understand this section on manipulation of technical formula. With that, I thank you. And I hope this is assisting you. See you later, guys.